today I am very excited because I'm filming a video that you guys have requested for so so long and I'm finally sitting down to do it for you guys. As you can tell by the title, this is going to be my fitness routine, my workout routine, how I stay fit, what I do at the gym, anything along those lines. Before I get into the video and tell you guys about how I work out, if you guys are not following me on social media, you totally should. It's a super personal outlet for me, and if you want to see me more than just on YouTube, it's a great place. So my Instagram is Fiercely Tasha, and then I will put my Twitter and my Snapchat here as well. If you guys could follow me, that would seriously mean so much. Okay, so one more thing before I get into the video. I am not fully happy with where my body is at. This is not like, okay, I'm in my perfect spot right now, this is how I want to look like forever. Obviously, I'm not I'm not like completely satisfied with where I'm at, so I am trying to always add new things to my fitness routine or try new things or work out more. But you know, I have been liking what I've been doing, so I figured I would share with you guys what I have been doing because it was requested, but by no means am I at like my goal body or whatever. Okay, so the first thing that I do want to talk about is a new app that I've kind of found that I've been using a little bit at the gym. This is very new, but I have been liking it a lot and I think it's a great option for people that like doing workout classes but don't necessarily like being with a bunch of people and having people like watch you. Okay, so the app is called Aptive and basically it's an app where you can go on and get a bunch of fitness workouts right on your phone, they will play them for you so you don't have to be in a class with a bunch of people and get like embarrassed. Like for me, I never want to do classes because I'm like, okay, well what if I, I can't do this well enough or if I get too tired and want to leave and everyone's going to be watching me and I just like never do classes for that reason but this app like totally fixes that problem because you're doing a class right on your phone, you have the instructor's voice, you have a bunch of different options, so it's basically like being in the class except you're on your phone and I mean, I guess you're still at the gym so people could see you, but you're not like competing against everyone else. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so before I show you an example of the classes and options on Aptiv, I do want to let you know that Aptiv is not a free app. Okay, there are a few options. It's either $9.99 a month where you can get a free 7-day trial, you can pay $24.99 for 3 months, or you can pay $49.99 for the entire year. I am going to put a coupon code and a link to download the app down below. But if you guys think about it, this is way cheaper than a class. If you think about like some classes, it can be like $30 a class, so you're literally paying that for three months of like unlimited stuff. So if you think about it and you think you are going to use it a lot, it's definitely worth it. Okay, so this is what the app looks like. As you can see, there's a bunch of different options. So I'm just going to show you a few of them. Something that's super popular right now is cycling. So you can do this, and there's tons of different classes you can take with the different times. And then this color on the side kind of shows you the difficulty of the classes. So those are super cool. Something else I really like about the classes is they play music for you. So the music kind of goes with the workouts. They have yoga, they have running, they have treadmill. So literally anything you're doing at the gym or outside, like outdoor running, there's something for it. Something that I've really been liking is the strength training. And I really like the ab workouts. I've never really been comfortable with how my stomach looks or my abs look, so this is a great one for me. Obviously, for the sake of the video, I stopped it. But as you can see, once you stop it, you can rate the instructor. It tells you how long you did it for and how many calories you burn. Something else I really like about the app is that you have the ability to do some of the things at home. So like the strength training section, the ab workout I was showing you, a lot of the times I can just do it at home. Like I am here in my living room, I thought I'd show you guys my Christmas tree a little bit. But this is me just doing a few of the exercises from that workout. And yeah, it's really convenient to be able to do them in your own home. So like I said, I am going to have a link down below in order to download the app and I will have a coupon code down there for you. Okay, so now I'm going to get into what I normally do at the gym before I found the app and now if I don't know what to do, if I don't feel like doing a class like that, this is what I will do. A lot of you guys ask me how often I work out and it honestly depends on how much time I have. Obviously, being a student, it's sometimes hard to find time to work out, but I try to work out at least three times a week, at least. You know, sometimes I work out like three days in a row, and then I'll work out like a few days later. So it could be anywhere from like three to five days a week. I definitely don't work out every single day. Um, I'm someone that doesn't like having to get all sweaty and wash my hair and like redo my hair. <laughs> I know that sounds so high maintenance. But yeah, honestly, it's never like a set kind of schedule. I kind of work out at different times, which I know probably isn't 
the best thing ever. I should really have more of a schedule. But honestly, I just work out when I have time and when it fits in my schedule because I'm busy in school and that's how it works for me. I'm not someone that likes running. I ran track in high school. Uh, I ran track until like 10th grade. I don't know how I did it because personally I am not a runner. I don't enjoy running. But cardio is necessary. By far my favorite cardio machine at the gym is the Stairmaster, the Stepper, Climber, whatever you want to call it. Basically the machine that has the stairs on it that move. I like this because I don't have to move super fast, do you know what I mean? Like I'm not running, I'm not going fast on the elliptical. I'm just walking, but it still is such a workout. Oh my gosh, not only does it tone my legs and my butt, a lot of you guys ask me about how I tone my butt or whatever, literally the Stairmaster, I'm not even kidding. So what I normally do, I don't know, every machine is different, but I'm normally doing around 85 steps per minute. I don't know what level that is, but that's basically what I do. It's not super fast, but it's definitely fast enough that I go for around a half hour and I'm really sweaty and tired by the end. Yeah, so normally I go for around 30 minutes. It depends. Sometimes I get super tired and I go for 20 minutes. Sometimes I'm feeling great and I go for 40 minutes. So it really depends. Something that I like doing when I'm on the Stairmaster is watching YouTube videos because it kind of distracts me. I mean, if I listen to music, sometimes I'm like always looking at the time or whatever, how long I've been doing it. But I like to watch YouTube videos because I kind of get like engaged in the video and those are normally a lot longer than songs. So before I know it, the 30 minutes is up. That's normally the only cardio I really do. Sometimes I will go the treadmill afterward and put the incline all the way up and walk on level four. I don't know if that's four miles per hour or if it's just level four. Honestly, I feel really stupid right now, but I'll put it on like level 3.8 or four, whatever it is, and I'll just walk at an incline for around 10 minutes. It's kind of a cool down for me. If I'm really sweaty, this kind of helps me like dry off, but it's still toning my legs and my butt and whatnot. Okay, I probably should have gone over this before I talked about the cardio and stuff. But pretty much before cardio, you could do it after, but I like doing it before, so I'm stretching and stuff before. I will do stretches and ab workouts and some like butt workouts. So the first thing I like to do is just stretch. I'm not very flexible. I'm a lot more flexible on my right side than my left, as you can see. I'm really trying to work on it, but I'll just stretch out and make sure I'm, you know, fairly stretched before I start. I honestly don't do a ton of ab workouts, which I definitely should because like I said, that's probably my weakest area. But I will take a medicine ball. I've been working on getting more weight recently. I used to do 10 pounds, now I'm moving up to 12. And I will just do the little thing. I don't know all the terminology for it, but I will like sit on my butt and then move the medicine ball like side to side with my legs up. Hopefully I have a clip right here showing you how I do it. <laughs> I honestly don't have a certain number of reps that I do that for. I honestly do that a bunch of times. Like I'll disperse that throughout the other workouts I'm doing and I'll just kind of do it until my abs feel like they're tired. Something else I usually do is a plank. I'll normally do a plank for around a minute. Sometimes I like move my legs around while I do a plank. I don't really know if this is like extra or look like, good, but I, I sometimes do that. I also like to do this butt exercise where I go on all fours and then raise my leg in a 90 degree angle to the side of me. This one really hurts and I normally do like 30 on each leg. Then I will do squats. Honestly, I think this is super important in toning your butt, but make sure you do squats with weight. So once again, I usually use the 12 pound medicine ball and I squat with weight. I do like 20 of these. Honestly, like I said, it depends on how I'm feeling. Yeah, so honestly, that's what I do. I am not a fitness expert. I don't know much about fitness. I've kind of just done that and I have seen progress in how I look and this was super requested by you guys so hopefully this helps you guys out. I don't know if it will. Like I said, um, I do have a very fast metabolism so I'm prone to be skinny naturally but I do feel like these things have toned me up a lot. I don't look just as like stickly skinny, you know, I feel like I look a little bit toned. Okay, in terms of my diet, people will ask me about my diet. And to be perfectly honest with you, like I said, I do have a fast metabolism. I don't eat super healthily. I mean, I will eat Taco Bell and like In-N-Out and Chick-fil-A and stuff like that, but not all the time. And I honestly, I'm a pretty small person. I'm like five foot one, just a petite person. So I can't eat a lot anyway. Um, so honestly, if I eat like Chick-fil-A, I am done for the day. <laughs> I don't eat a ton, but I do try to, you know, eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and cook my own vegetables and stuff at home when I can. One of my best tips about eating 
and like dieting or whatever is buy your own groceries and do not buy anything that's unhealthy because if you don't have anything unhealthy in your house you're probably not going to eat unhealthily so try to buy healthy snacks and healthy foods that you can make yourself because if you don't have you know the chips and the ice cream and stuff then you're not going to eat them so that's probably a good tip i try to buy healthy things when i go to the grocery store because then i'm eating healthy yeah so from now i'm honestly pretty lucky with the whole eating thing like i can kind of eat what i want because i don't eat a ton and work out and I'm like fine I'm sure someday it'll catch up to me and I'll be like 500 pounds when I wake up one day but uh for now it's working out anyways I hope this video was kind of helpful for you guys I really don't know how helpful it was but if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you guys have any other suggestions for workouts or if you guys want to add anything to this video totally comment down there I love you guys so much and thank you for watching bye